It's encouraging just how much the climate change narrative has evolved in the last few years. Climate change is an integral part of the conversations we have with our clients. And I can confidently say that it's part of the agenda for almost every CEO and client that I know. Where even a year ago, everybody was talking about whether net zero is even possible, today we're talking about the how. To reach net zero by 2050, to get sufficient capital to the table, how we get there needs to be targeted, policy-driven, accelerated, and above all, practical. The reality is the global economy will only reach net zero by 2050 if the investment themes that have the highest impact on GHG reductions, promote economic growth, and allow private capital to flow are prioritized. We need to focus our efforts on generating more clean energy and reducing emissions for carbon intensive sectors with the biggest near term impact. Policy stability that transcends changes in government is critical. The Inflation Reduction Act, or the IRA, enacted by the administration of U.S. President Joe Biden is a good example of policy following where industry is going with bespoke incentives. The auto sector is a substantial leader in demonstrating how government policy and incentives can accelerate change. Partnering together, the financial sector and the government can show people and businesses why it's worth taking the risk of changing how they either produce or consume energy, or both. I've said it before, the shape of the energy transition is not binary. It's an and rather than an either or conversation. We need to provide energy alternatives and we need to reduce emissions across existing energy sources. Fortunately, the narrative pendulum has swung back to talk of a sensible and just transition and away from calls for the world to just turn off fossil fuel. We need to focus on what it takes to achieve an orderly transition meeting the needs of today while achieving a sustainable future. The time is now. We're aligned on the goal. Let's chart the course and get on with it.